Warning, this video may contain foul language. Crude humor is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. So, the first thing I want to say before we get into this is if you're a new subscriber, hello and welcome. If you're a new uh, watcher and haven't subscribed, I appreciate if you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like my content. Um, I'm I'm just a one man show. I don't edit my videos. I do them in one take. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a construction worker, and occasionally I cuss and stuff. So I just put that warning out in case I do flip around the f word. So let's get into this. So, the, today we are taking a look at Masters of the Universe Tongue Lasher from the Snake Men series. Let's get into this. So, I was really looking forward to this, this figure. They didn't put the, 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 the action feature like they had on an original one. I got an original one here. Not when I have, was a kid, but I picked it up off eBay. A year and a half or so ago, um, it was a real good price, and his tongue was working really well, so I picked him up. Um, so you got the the artwork on the top with lung, tongue lasher with cyclone fighting him in the jungle, and I'm definitely looking forward to him. And then we got the group for this wave. I believe this is wave 12, maybe 11. I don't know. But did a video on Roboto, tongue, and then now we're doing Tongue Lasher. And I did one on Skele Snake Armor Skeletor. And I'm also going to do another video after this for Hypno. So you just pop in his tongue into his mouth, and then you get he has a crossbow and his snake staff. So that's cool. I did pop them open and was playing with them beforehand, so this has already been opened. But let me pause the video, and we'll crack them open. Take a closer look. Alrighty, we are back. Let's look at Tongue Lasher and his accessories, and then we'll compare them to his uh, vintage predecessor. So... Really cool. I, I really dig the paint job they did on this. It's too bad they didn't put paint detail back here on the back. But the head's the nice and pliable to get him get him move him around all the way around. And then you plug in the tongue there. Got the nice fluorescent green on his chest. Nice orange. I like his his little uh, they're a little bit fatter and bigger than the, what do you call it, vintage one on his hands for his fingers. The feet are pretty much the same, kind of the same coloring, black, black underwear. So let's uh, plug in his tongue. <coughs> one of the biggest things I don't like about this fucking tongue thing is plugging it in. This is going to be the first damn thing that you lose, really. I mean, it's not it's, it's not going to be easy to see if you drop it. And if you have carpet, you might be fucked. If you have animals like cats or dogs and they mess with your stuff, then that might disappear. But if you leave it in his mouth, it should be okay. But, yeah, you can curl it up. Curl it up or curl it down. But it is kind of disappointing that you can't shorten it. You got the full length. We'll set him up. Okay. Then you cut, get a staff, which looks like the the vintage version. There might be some slight differences. I don't. My my tongue lasher didn't come with his weapons. So, but I believe this is the same thing as what Rattler came with. Then you get this cool crossbow with the dragonfly thing, which is neat as shit. 
in my opinion. Nice detail on there. Then it comes with a comic book, which we don't have to really get into. Let's see what the removable things they say for him. So arms, head, crotch, feet, and tongue, of course. So there you go on that. And we'll flip through the comic book just to say I did. Case this is the only video out of this wave you watch but yeah neat artwork so let's uh, do a comparison so here's a vintage one sorry for me moving on camera guys because just a pain in the ass and it's just my phone so let me pause the video. We're going to scoot this camera down. Okay, we're back. On the right side here is a vintage tongue lasher. This is an Origins new retro version. You can see that the retro version is taller than the vintage one. Plus, the, the vintage one, his head doesn't move. I know that. And he doesn't have all the articulation, but he does have this. Which, let's just get a close-up look at that. So, there's his tongue. And in. Out. Nice and smooth. It's got good color on it. Let me show you the color. So, I picked this up for like, I don't know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks with shipping. You can see the difference between their eyes and the camouflage in the head you got a little bit darker striping but the chest is pretty close let's put your tongue away we can look at the chest armor you can see that the gloves on the right side are just a little bit smaller than the ones on the left on the origins figure and then the feet same same thing Black crotch with a black belt. So. Let's. Get this in here if possible. And. Cut this video. Down. Mm. So guys, I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys with Tongue Lasher from Masters of the Universe Origins, comparing them with the vintage version, which that's not agreeing with me. So if you like my content, like my reviews, I got a bunch of them. There's 200 something videos. Uh, why I'm called War Journal Toys is I'm a big Punisher fan. But when they only put one or two Punisher action figures out a year, uh, it's kind of disappointing. So when the, the Masters of the Universe came out, I really liked uh, the Castle Grayskull and what they did with that. And I went down the rabbit hole. So I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up on your way out. And I will see you on the next one.